Make sure y'all check out Yen to Tech. We sure do appreciate them. Stepping up and reaching out to a small farmer on here and helping us to get products that otherwise we wouldn't have. And it means a lot to us here at Gerald Farms. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we're working on our 5140 Maxim with the 510 case loader. As a bunch of y'all remember, all we have is the pin style connect on the front. Got some good news. We had a company to reach out to us, Yentatech. Might be saying that wrong, but I'll cut the video here in a second and put you a picture of the manufacturer's name in to make sure. It Y'all come along and check out what they sent for us here. All right, that was the name. And like I said, I'm calling it Yentatech. Could be saying it wrong, but I'll have links in the description and all that for you to get to these parts. Let's open this here up and check it out. This, all right, I'm gonna get it all the way out the box so we can see it good. All right, this is the, we went with the skid steer quick attach conversion it's got a six inch rise and it's adjustable in the center to get it to the correct width then what we're gonna do it's got the flat plate on the back and flat plates right here we're gonna weld right onto here, the bottom and the top, and the correct width for the skid steer. I'm gonna put you in a picture right here of this product. Now don't forget that all the links and stuff will be in the description, so if you're interested in any of it. Pick up the arm, throws the locks out. Works smooth as silk. Let's check out what else they sent us. That was our first implement for the skid steer quick attach. This is their Yentech skid, quick attach skid steer hay spear. I'll put you a picture of it in right here in the video. And there'll be a link in the description. Everything in it, we'll have it linked in the description. I'll come along and we'll get this hay spear assembled and we're gonna get this here put on the front of the 5140 on the 510 loader all right what we're doing is we took our big hay spear that y'all remember seeing us run we unbolted it to unpinned it took it off this is an old hay spear we had we're sacrificing it to make our quick attach on we got it lined up where I wanted it I just tacked everything in in place till my son I'm gonna let my son do the final weld I just tacked her up and we're gonna put the quick attach on here and get her going I have to say that everything is packaged pretty good sad I got the short spears bubble wrap and Got two hose clamps on them. Got your styrofoam. Got your big spear wrap and hose clamped in. There's your customer service papers. It's T 
telling you thank you for your purchase and if you have any trouble with it or if it's damaged there's your numbers and everything to call so far i'm liking what i'm seeing and this stuff is heavy y'all don't think it's light i think that plate is 130 pounds 120 pounds something like that this spear is a little more than that this hay spear but let's get it on out the package and then get it put together quick little tip on this taper part of your hay spear i always put a little grease on it just in case down the road i know we never want to take this stuff back apart but if you do two years five years from now it's gonna be a you gonna thank me then just like right there that sleeve when i took that hay spear out earlier come out like butter slacking your nut so you'll thank me later for it so just put a little grease on your taper Hey, spears together. Nice looking unit. Feels heavy, the spear feels real heavy. Time will tell, I think it's gonna be a good unit. And if you're asking yourself and wondering, why'd he put the hay spear together first? And the answer is, cause I didn't know how far, how wide to set my quick steer adapter plates up. Now I've got an attachment that is the correct width that I can use the measure off of and mock up to put the piece on the front of the tractor. So let's move on to the next step. Now what we're doing, we're prepping this put our quick attach plate on. How come none of y'all didn't tell me a while ago when I was cleaning it off, prepping it for the quick attach plate, that I did that one in the wrong spot. See how it's on the bottom? And I did the top. I figured one of y'all would have told me that before I got my hand, got in a bind. Got the quick attach, attachment plates tacked on. My son will be home here in just a little bit. We'll let him weld it on up for us. Not too shabby of a tack, but I'll bring y'all back in just a few minutes, a few seconds here on YouTube time whenever my son gets here to weld it up or either I decide to weld it up. There she goes, all buttoned up. And these handles, I would have thought would have been the other way, but that is unlocked. That is locked, so 
At any rate, there's the welds. My son burned them on for me. Tops, bottoms, sides, backs, everywhere. We're gonna put a little paint on it. Might stick that in here in the video for you, but if not, make sure you check out the links. The, there'll be links in the description for everything to the hay spear, the quick attach adapters, whatever you might need. I'll have links in the description to our Amazon for it. I didn't have no red paint. I had black, so what we're doing is just touched up where we welded. Let's stop everything from rusting. But we'll get her painted on up maybe here soon. Nothing shouldn't rust now. Everything looks good and we fixing to go try to use it here in just a little bit. Put her to work. But make sure y'all check out the links in the description for all the products that we use in the video. And if you like what you see, head over and check them out and pick up some of the products and get them right from Amazon and they'll be direct shipped right to your address. Make sure y'all check out Yen to Tech. We sure do appreciate them. Stepping up and reaching out to a small farmer on here and helping us to get products that otherwise we wouldn't have. And it means a lot to us here at Gerald Farms to, for companies that do reach out and help us. And we sure hope that y'all will reach out to them. And if there's anything, they have lots of other items that's not, I mean, the fork, forklift attachments, all kind of different stuff. Three point hitch quick attach i mean plates and i mean just all kind of so the list goes on and on so please reach out to yen to tech and if there's any way let them know that gerald farm sent you and help support the people that support the people that you watch and enjoy watching appreciate y'all watching and supporting us here at gerald farms thanks for watching have a good one